Why hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and in this video we are covering a absolutely insane, bonkers, crazy, idiotic idea that for some reason works very well in my mind and it is a Chevy, well, Chevy wagon uh, body dropped onto a monster truck frame, tube chassis really with a semi-trailer behind it that we are going to tow through the mud on a map that was meant to look like it's been snowing. So, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's an interesting idea, put it that way. And, uh, it sort of kind of works, actually. Now, this map is very strange because it's, like, it's textured mud, right? It, it's textured mud that's meant to go, uh, meant to look like snow. And we've got a, oh dear, low two, yes, and we've got a vehicle that can handle lots of mud, we know this, but the thing is we've also got something that's a bit of a slow go, which is unfortunate, I hate going slowly, I hate it, I hate it so much, but look at that though, you, like the body of the vehicle is above the water at all times, it's not even getting wet aside from you know the water that's being kicked up onto the vehicle itself and the trailer well the trailer <laughs> the back of the trailer's wet good god look at that i mean like how epic is that like just stop for a second and like that that pet picture right there holy crap that is that is a marvel of engineering not really it's well it kind of is if you look at it Nope, put it into low three and it sucks. It just spins like hell. Low two is where you want to keep it, I'm guessing. Or like right at the bottom of low two or like the top of low one. Gets a ton of grip there. Oh no. It's falling off to the side though. God, this is nasty. This like, this mud that's textured like snow is some nasty crap. This is... Like, dude, you do not want to get stuck in this in anything besides a built bogger like we're driving today. I mean, what the... Oh, my God. And how big is this map? Oh, my God! It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Absolutely massive. So, I really don't have a plan for where we're going. Let's just say that. And, you know what we might do? Well, I was going to say we go until we run out of fuel, but at the same time, it's actually slightly fuel efficient. It's, it, <laughs> it, it actually, I wonder. No, no, this would not be road tax exempt in Britain. Guaranteed. But you'd be able to register it and drive it on the road in the U.S. most likely. <laughs> you might get caught and you might get questioned and you might get ticketed. But in the end, you could probably register it as an old, like, Chevy Bel Air wagon. And then, you know, just slap a tube chassis under it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Getting all the traction now. Yes. Uh-oh. It was a little close to that edge for my liking, but... We can work with it. We can absolutely work with it, yes, sir. There, we can put more power to it now. Stick in low three. Not sinking at all. That's awesome. Just make sure we stay on the road, because if you go off the road at all, you're going to go into some nastiness. Some really bad nastiness, honestly. Although, when you're not digging up, like, the mud, it actually does, like, over here, like, it looks like snow. It actually does a decent job of looking like snow, which is a pretty nice, pretty nice feat. Considering the fact that, you know, all he did was kind of change some textures around, and it really does kind of change the way the game looks. It, it even changed kind of the way the sky looks and everything, and it, it does, it does, it does change the game. It does change the feel of the game. God, it's just pushing. It's just pushing to the outside hard. Alright, we got a hill. Oh no. <laughs> A light hill. Very, well, a light hill that's probably slightly dramatic. 
keep in mind we do have a very heavy garage trailer behind us. God, it's just plowing. Nothing gets in the way of this thing. Especially in low range. Like, damn. Do the lights work? <laughs> no, dude, I'm just going to leave those on. I am going to leave those on. Why? Because... Uh, Bel Air Wagon Mud Truck. It's just because. The Devil's Mud Truck. That's why. I don't know which way to go. Let's go right. Oh, yeah. The parking brake being off would be a nice, you know, it'd be a nice thing. A nice little addition. Oh, it can make the corner. And it can get grip. It just, if we shift up, it'll have no grip at all. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just looking at that trailer and imagining what's pulling it. Jeez, dude. What a ridiculous thing. And when it comes down to it, like in my personal opinion, when it comes down to it, sometimes you play spin tires to be realistic. And sometimes... As you can plainly see, you don't. What's this way? Oh wow, I was actually expecting the ground to be super, super soft, and it's not. Then again, I mean, we've got massive steamroller tires, but you know, we'll gloss over that. You know, it's just kind of another point entirely. Just uh, a little detail that we forgot to mention. Let's put it that way. Ooh, an outpost. Yes, I'm bringing supplies to them. They've been up here for many days. With no food. Cold. Nothing to eat whatsoever besides... <laughs> besides whatever they could capture. <laughs> oh wow, it just got really deep. Don't even rush to the comments and post all your that's what she said jokes. You can if you want to, but... <laughs> I've brought your supplies! I've brought the supplies for the outpost! Oh no! But wait, no! I don't see them! They're dead. They're all dead. They stayed out here one night too long. And by the time the monster truck with the trailer arrived, they were nowhere to be seen. Some say they've been devoured. Some say that I don't know what I'm talking about. Regardless, we're turning left. Oh, damn, look at that. It's like a frozen... I almost said frozen lake, but it's more of a frozen pond. Kind of making wide turns, not because we have a trailer, but because this thing, that's about as as tight as it can turn. It's, it's pretty bad, honestly, when it comes down to the turning radius. If we find another outpost, we shall look for survivors. But it is doubtful that any should survive a winter as harsh as this. Damn, that's one hell of a view, though. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Like, that actually looks like a proper snow environment. It really does. It really, really does. That's, that's sweet, you know? All right, bump it up to low three. Let's get out of here. Well, and then we sink in the mud and... Ugh. <laughs> this is painful that it's as slow as... Ah, it's as fast as you can go. And it's painful. It sucks. We haven't found any survivors. But other than that, we're all right. Ooh, it's like a over-the-shoulder cam. I mean, not really over-the-shoulder, but... Like, rear of the, rear of the vehicle cam. Damn, we need to find another outpost, or like a garage, or something. What's our map? Oh my god. We haven't even, we, dude, we've traveled like, not very far at all. That's, that's insane. I, have <laughs> This map is massive. I, I feel like I should explore it sometime in multiplayer with Jeep Guy 
and we can just kind of explore it around together in vehicles that will glide over the mud rather than vehicles that will sink into it and while well, mud and snow and you know just kind of have a little bit of a better time than just pulling a trailer around with a massive monster truck that just sinks this is a downhill if there's a downhill coming up soon I'll be very impressed and very happy. Or, no, that's... What is this? No, seriously, what is this place? This is different. Keep it going, come on! Oh, actually, our fuel's in the red. I've just noticed that. Is this just, like, an obstacle? Is that what it's supposed to be? Like, holy crap. How do you... Oh, okay, I gotcha. So the road just keeps going. Makes sense. Question is, can we get through there without sinking? And dying? And become one of the... One of the lookouts from the outpost. That was never seen again. Do not get stuck. Do not get stuck, please. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to make it. I think we've got no problem here. No problems here at all. Yeah, come on, then. Not a single issue. Oh, dude, this thing's hella beast. Hella beast. A downhill! Oh my god! A downhill! Yes! <laughs> we finally got a downhill! I am so happy! Come on! <laughs> An actual downhill! And now all we're doing is spinning like crazy, covering the vehicle in mud and the trailer and not going anywhere. Damn it. Oh, we need to find another outpost, but you know what? You know what? I would say... I would say that, judging by my professional opinion, this map is probably very similar as you start to explore it. And I'll explore it more later, but I think that this thing accomplished the task that it set out to do, which was see if a monster bogger could effectively pull a semi-trailer through a snowy environment. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.